There are approximately 2,000 handicapped students enrolled in schools throughout Alabama. This seven-day conference will attempt to find ways to implement state and federal laws to improve the education of these students. Although the conference is primarily geared toward the needs of blind and deaf children, all handicapped students are expected to benefit from the improved services. A conference spokesman pointed out that the number of handicapped children is probably a lot higher than the actual enrollment number, and a special child find group has been set up to seek out handicapped children. Students who are from age from birth up to school age, and even beyond school, now up in school age, that we do not know about this time because they are handicapped. But we think we'll be able to identify those over the next several months. Conference spokesmen say the state could save millions of dollars if schools that have been closed because of desegregation laws are reopened to provide learning facilities for the handicapped. Conference representatives will take their proposals to state legislators for recommended funding. Some of the suggestions that might come out of the conference could fall in the areas of special ramps that will aid students in wheelchairs to get in and out of buildings. More teachers will be trained in instructing the handicapped, as well as the construction of parking facilities for impaired students. Conference members hope to establish guidelines to improve education for handicapped students this week, and the project is expected to begin within the next two or three years. This is Renee Perry for Channel 10 Newsbeat.